Welcome back, everyone. Uh, we've got Josh here. Josh is new to our team, but he's definitely not new to uh, real estate and sales. He's awesome. He's been around maybe longer than I have. So I want to hear what he's got to say. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, three things you wish you knew. I wish I knew before my first property. Three things he wishes he knew before his first property. So if you don't have a property yet, this is what you want to hear. So go for it. Yeah, for sure. So thanks everyone. You know, one of the number one things I talk to all my investor clients about now is make sure you carry enough funds for your startup investment property. You know, I was prepared, but I don't think I was prepared enough and put an extra stress, extra pressure on the situation and closing the deal. Make sure you carry enough funds. You know, you go into the property after the inspection, you know, truly assess and then hedge those numbers to make sure you're carrying enough funds to do, you know, all your renovations, getting the property up to speed. Even if it's a turnkey property, the rule of thumb is you want to have, let's say three months rent. So if you're going to rent the property for 2,500 a month, good idea to have, you know, 5,000, 7,500 just sitting in the account, just in case, right? You can always pull it back later as the cash flow starts to build up, but you know, a good idea to have that in there. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Now, number two, this one will make you laugh. Don't be like me. Don't choose the cheapest contractor. <laughs> it ended up costing me fourfold. I, uh, I had a situation where, you know, I had a good roofer, a trusted roofer that we use in the family, done some of my other investment properties, resided in Toronto. This is a property in Hamilton, you know, found a local guy. He ended up screwing me for about 10 grand. You know, sometimes the cheapest price isn't going to end up getting, getting you to your goal. So, you know, don't try and just cut corners, save a few thousand dollars here and there, you know, it'll end up costing you in the long run. At the end of the day, you want these properties to cash flow. You want to get the renovations done quick. You want to get them tenanted and you want that cash coming in, right? So don't use the cheapest contractor like me. You I learned, learned, I learned the lesson the hard way. Yeah, I was going to say, you're going to learn it the easy way or you're going to learn it the hard way. And if, if it's your first property and you cough up 20% down on five, six, seven hundred thousand, whatever it is, it appears like a lot of money and you got a repair coming out. You're like, man, I got, I got to save some money. But that's the time when you, you, I'm not saying don't save money, but don't cheap out either because it's going to come out on the other end and it's not going to work out for anyone. Right? Yeah, hundred percent. Number three, you know, do the pros and cons early on, whether you want to manage the property or you want to get a property management company to do it. I recommend with all my investor clients, well before the transactions close, let's put together a chart or the pros of you doing it or the cons of you managing the property. Sometimes, you know, we all, we want to, all want to live life. You know, you've got multiple properties. It's like a job in itself. So sometimes paying those little extra fee, you know, six to eight uh, percent to the property management company can be fully worth it. You know, it's it's peace of mind. It's a headache. You know, no headaches. What well, what what made you choose? I know you're busy. You got a couple kids, twins. Like, yeah. What, what, yeah. Was, what was the? You know what? Traffic. <laughs> I love doing work myself. I'm a handy person, but you know, I live in Toronto. Prop, got a couple properties in Hamilton. You know, it could take you an hour and a half, two hours to get to Hamilton some days. You know, to go change a light bulb. Is that really worth it when I can pay a contractor forty five dollars? Right. So remember, you need to pay in time and pay in your. Or you, know you pay in dollars. And right? time is money. Don't forget that. Right. Time is money. So. You know, they find you, don't forget property management companies too can find you a list tenants. It's not easy to find yourself by posting online. You know, we can post on MLS, we can post all over the web, but you gotta screen those people. You know, you gotta do credit checks. You gotta interview them, you know, for the little fee, one month's rent, they can find you top, top clients and then take care of them here on it. Right? There's nothing wrong with doing it yourself. In fact, we, we train people and encourage people to do it themselves because you know, you, you have the experience, but if you just don't have the time or you're busy with a young family, like you don't, don't, don't spare it. I mean, there's property managers out there who recommend them to you. So either way, we want to get you covered. Anything else? Oh, that's it. Peace.